there are two different ways how you can actually integrate uh, an application, a software, or really any platform like AI model as well within NA10, right? <clears throat> so first you need to understand uh, why we are using HTTP request nodes. So we're using HTTP request nodes where we cannot directly integrate uh, a software or an app inside of our workflows, right? So for example, uh, you know, if I want to go here and if I want to open, uh, if I want to add a node here, and let's say I want to use uh, this software right here. This is called Gina AI. This is basically a scraper tool, and I I would be uh, I want to be able to use this in my N8N workflow, but I cannot use it because there is no Gina AI right here inside N8N. So what do we do? We have to use the HTTP request node. This is a, a node or a webhook. It's a, like a type of a webhook that you basically uh, can get and extract information from. So. For example, right, uh, since we're using here scraper tool for an example, uh, you first need to understand how the HTTP request node works. So you have different methods. You have get method, you have post method. These are usually two main methods that you're using. So for this example, we want to actually get the scraping data from the scraper, right? So we use the get method. If you want to post the data, inside of our workflow, then we're using the post method. However, in most cases, it will be either get or post, but in this case is get. And for example, if you're going in a, this tool right here has like a free API. So if you scroll here, uh, as you can see, here is the, uh, the API key as well, right? So we have the API key right here. We can copy the API key for free. <clears throat> 